the imperial city of 3 million inhabitants. The largest of the Danube capitals, it's also called the city of music, since Mozart and Beethoven flourished here. Palaces, gardens, opera and museums, statues of emperors, glorious moments of the Habsburg dynasty, art and perfumes will make you live an unforgettable travel experience. Welcome to Vienna, the capital of Austria in the heart of Europe. Do you like the video? Click like and subscribe to discover enchanting destinations and fascinating stories. We are located in the country that adored Emperor Sisi, Austria. The majestic capital Vienna will steal your heart as it offers images straight out of fairy tales. The melodies of classical music and Viennese waltz, the Café Viennois and the culinary delicacies, as well as the irresistible Christmas atmosphere will enchant you. Beautiful, glamorous and highly romantic, Vienna seduces its visitors at first sight. Stay with us as we discover the city's secrets and the most impressive sights. We start with the Ground Zero of Vienna, St. Stephen's Square or Stephansplatz. The homonymous cathedral leaves us breathless. Here you will experience the medieval splendor and the grandeur of the Gothic style. Climbing up 343 steps to reach the balcony with the whole city at your feet. While under the temple lie the legendary catacombs. From here you will wander down the Graben Street, a notable shopping area. Crossing the old town or Innenstadt, we reach the Mihailaplatz Square, where a palatial complex of buildings catches the eye. Here is the Sisi Museum with dresses, jewelry and artifacts of the beautiful Empress. It is said that in her day, she was perhaps more popular and loved than Princess Diana. We continue with the building of the Spanish Riding School and the Museum of Imperial Treasures. All around us are arcs, squares and statues. Now we can enjoy the view of the Hofburg Palace. Romantic atmosphere of another era and sounds of violins and carriages. The palace is surrounded by places of interest such as Albertina Museum, the Vienna Opera, the twin museums of history and art and natural history, while further back is the museum's quarter. Nearby lies the Austrian Parliament, reminiscent of an ancient Greek temple. We are already walking down the circular boulevard or Ringstrasse, a boulevard that was an urban planning achievement of the time. Parks, institutions, culture and art halls, constructions that heighten the visitor's experience are gathered here. In the People's Park or Volksgarten, we get some rest while opposite is the Town Hall or Rathaus, a place that hosts art events and an important center of Christmas celebrations. In front of us is the Burgtheater, 
and behind it is the famous Café Central, a reference point of Vienna at the time when it was a world metropolis and the center of espionage. It is said that Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin and Sigmund Freud, among others, were enjoying their coffee here. Using Vienna's amazing public transport system, we arrive at Schönbrunn Palace. The size of the palace, the gardens, the labyrinth, the endless view, the fountains, the Glorietta with its café, will leave you with your mouth wide open in admiration. All you have to do is bear the walking and be warmly dressed, as the winter months in Vienna are bitterly cold. Hat, scarf, gloves and mule wine are essential. Next to the palace, that used to be the summer residence of the emperors, lies the Schönbrunn Zoo. Next stop, Belvedere Castle. A baroque palace that today houses works of art and a remarkable collection of the painter Klimt. Here is the neighborhood with the foreign embassies, and relatively close we can admire the 18th century Habsburg Cathedral, dedicated to St. Charles on Karlsplatz. The Prater is a large all-day park with retro rides, including a famous giant ferris wheel from 1897. We are close to the banks of the Danube. In addition to bridges, buildings and ships on the Danube island Donauinsel, we can admire the Austria Center, the modern city with skyscrapers and the offices of the United Nations. The Donau Park and the revolving telecommunications tower Donau Turm from 1964 with observation decks, restaurant and coffee shop. There is no better way to get into the festive spirit than visiting the Christmas markets in every corner of the city and every palace. wonderful dishes of Austrian cuisine, pumpkin soup, schnitzel and other delicacies. The delicious local sweets and the famous coffee will give you the energy you need to continue walking and endure the cold weather. Vienna, your next favorite magical destination. Which destination would you like to see in the next episode? Write a comment. Share this video with your friends. Produced by Anastasios Grecos for Turismo's Travel Guru channel. Thank you very much and subscribe for more videos, unique landscapes and exotic images.